limited at the moment to the big centre forward. As Dummigan floats it forward, headed away. And they picked up by Ledwich. Oh, it's given away. It's patching inside the box. He gets a shot away. Brenton Clark gets down well to his right hand side and with a strong palm prevents the ball from entering the back of the net. Shane, Shane Farrell's had a great game. Yeah, he's worked really, really hard. He, he, he's been everywhere. He started on the right, now he's been. Seems like Moy. Moy oh. oh, sorry, it's a chance for Moylan. And Moylan absolutely buries it. It was a mistake in the Derry back line. Moylan capitalised on it. And with 68 minutes gone, it's Derry City 0, Shelburne 1. It's a poor mistake. Stunning goal. Poor mistake. Brian Mahers went to play. He'd done it earlier, Diallo and put him under a bit of pressure, he dealt with it well and then he's tried to do it again and Moylan's just read him and just jumped, just sort of showed him the pass then jumped, cut it out, took a first touch and smashed it into the roof of the net. You see it, he's try, he tried to do it again, Moylan's read him, he's kicked it under the ground slightly. I don't know what Mar was thinking there but... Jonathan Money just bringing down Patrick McLean in that process, allowing Derry a chance for another free kick. Yeah, get the ball in the box, get Shane and Conley up and can't play through them and he might have to be a set player or second ball. Yeah, Drew Thompson, the insurance policy, just flying back at the moment. Duffy again lost it in the 18 yard box. Oh, oh it was Ryan Graydon who I thought had got the final touch on it. Mark Connolly was behind him as well but uh, they just could not convert beyond Brendan Clark. It looks like it's going to be one of those nights, Liam. Neil. Yeah, I think Graydon got the first touch and then Conley got one after, didn't he? It just bounced up on him and he couldn't. He might have been offside. But, uh, Two seconds, Tony looking to get things back on their way. Quickly. McElhinney finds Tom again. And field to Diallo. Diallo spreads out to his right hand side, Joe Thompson. Heads it down to Graydon. Graydon leaves it for Thompson. Thompson across to Duffy. Cross. Don't cross on the box, Joe Thompson arriving late, and it's Joe Thompson with the equaliser in the 83rd minute to salvage at least something from this game, and he's just waving the fans as well too to try and get behind him. Rory Higgins punches the air with the light, but it was a great bit of work on the right hand side by Joe Thompson. He continued his run, Neil, and he got his just rewards. Yeah, we're just saying, just get him forward, you know, take a chance. He's in at the back post. It's a great ball by Cameron Dunn. Dummigan. And I can put this done really, really well on the forward line for Derry City since coming on. He's made a nuisance of himself, finds Diallo with the throw one. Back with Duffy. Duffy finds Diallo. Diallo plays a one-two with Duffy. He's allowed Duffy a chance to look up, get his cross under the box. Flicked on by Patrick McElhinney. Oh, and it just went begginly wide of the back post. It was just asking for Ryan Graydon to maybe get a touch on it behind uh, Brendan Clark who had been backtracking the score remains Derry City 1, Shelburne 1 you see yeah. Duffy just looking up there and they flicked on but again Derry can do nothing about it Shelburne living on their nerves in the dying moments of the Why? additional time Diallo yeah, now has spotted now that Ryan Graydon has a bit of an opportunity to get across under the box again, falls to Diallo just think it's chance there it is Joe Thompson, oh, oh the back post with the flash and header the substitute could have sealed victory for Derry City. He just could not direct this header in towards the goal. He puts his eyes to heaven and Brendan Clark, Shelburne, Look and the it. Shelburne fans breathe a sigh of relief. It's a great what a ball. It's a Ray Higgins telling them to hit long under the 18 yard box. Red and White Army rings out around the Brandywell. The 94 minutes are up. Marr delivers it deep under the 18 yard box. Conley wins the header. It's flicked on. Oh, and Brendan Clark has to push it onto his bar. And again, I'm just looking at Shane Griffin. He's protesting with Derek Tomney. As if they say, it's all over. Time's it's all up. over. Yeah, Duff will go. But, uh, Duff's here. Yeah. Last chance. That would even throw Brian Marr forward now, too, because yeah, he's nothing to lose. As the corners floated under the back post, the header's there. That's it. Ian Kavanagh can do nothing about it and finally Derek Tomney brings proceedings to a close Rory Higgins and Damien Duff exchange a handshake so the finalists in the cup final play out the final four minutes of additional time it's ended at the Brandywell Derry City 1 Shelburne 1 Quite frustrated um, first half performance it was quite slow and 
and we didn't really create much. Um, second half, as the half wore on, we, we, we grew into it and we played with more intensity. We put more crosses in the box and we asked more questions of them. And um, Obviously, really disappointed not to win the game. Uh, but can't, can't speak highly enough of the players. That they've been great. We've been on a really good run. And, um, but uh, we, we should be trying to win that game. And, 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 and to be fair, we were pushing towards the end. I listen, on paper, it's a very good point. But the lads are in there a tad disappointed. They're 1-0 up at the Brandywell. Tough place to come, as we know, against top players. You obviously want to see out the game and get the three points. Um, so you could say two points dropped. But in the main, listen, very happy with them.